does he think that that's how first dates end? The first date? Hi guys, it's Nessie, and it is that time again, Tis Story Time. This is actually the 10th episode of Tis Story Time. So today, I'm going to be talking about a subject that I have been completely obsessed with when it comes to story time videos, and that is the worst date. This story actually goes a little bit more than just the date itself, so I'm going to try my best to talk a little briefly about the relationship with this guy itself before the date, because I actually saw this guy every day because I was still in high school when this date happened. Let's get started. I met this guy when I was in the ninth grade, and we were friends, but we weren't really that close until the 11th grade. I was going through like a really really bad breakup. If you guys want that story, oh, comment down below. I was going on a field trip with this guy to a CPR training thing. I was part of this, uh, high, this thing called High Skills Major and it was a requirement for everybody in high skills to take this course. So he wasn't majoring the same thing as me, but we still had to go to it. And it was a two day trip. Because we didn't really know anybody else on this trip, we actually became really good friends. And uh, we became very close. Eventually, fast forward about, I think it was a month or two later, we we're hanging out like all the time. We were always hanging out at lunch and he would walk me home from school sometimes and it, you know it, it was cool like I, I didn't mind him walking me home because usually I just walk home by myself and I just listen to some music so you know and it was kind of a long walk. So I kind of had a feeling that this guy kind of had a thing for me but like you know I, I never like to assume until I have like you know confirmation of this. We were talking to our friend Vicky, rest in peace. We were talking to her and a bunch of his friends and she was kind of like you know Are you gonna tell her? I have you. Have you done it yet? And he was kind of just there, kind of like, Shut up! So I had to go to rehearsal for Into the Woods uh, at this time. So it was kind of like a movie. I was just about to go to rehearsals and go to the room. And all I hear, Nothing! And it was this guy, and he was just standing by the stairs. And I was kind of just, oh shit. So then this guy um, walked up to me, and he kind of started pacing, and he's just like, I have something to tell you. So I was just like, this is it. He just kind of kept pacing and he was just like, Good luck in rehearsals. Because I hate it when guys beat around the bush with this kind of thing. Like, you know, I tire of it. But, um, are you sure that's what you meant to say? He just paced around for like another few seconds and I was kind of rushing because I was just like, I need to go to rehearsals. And uh, so, you know, I told him, I was just, if that's all, like, I need to go. He kind of just stopped, looks at me, and he just goes, I see. We've been friends for a while, and I was wondering if I could take you out sometime. It's di it's different when you know that it's happening than when you know that it's going to happen. So I started pacing myself, and you know, and he kind of kept going. I, like obviously, he rehearsed this. Of course, I was still getting over my ex, and it was kind of like the it was like a few months after it had happened. And you know, like I was kind of, I was kind of like on the fence with this whole thing. So I unfortunately told him like, it's not fair that I go out with you if I'm still hung up with someone. So no for now. And yeah, things were pretty cool. Not a very good day for me considering how Brooke asked me out for like the third time that day before we were dating people. So fast forward about a month later, I decided that I was gonna start dating again. Probably shouldn't have thought of doing, I should have probably stayed single for a while to just you know, think about myself, which I did eventually do, but after this time. We hung out at Tim Hortons, for those of you guys who don't know what Tim Hortons is, it's an awesome place for Canadians to hang out. We started talking about like, you know, dates and stuff like that. And he told me that he had actually asked out other girls, but he's never actually gone on a date before. And because I believe in giving people chances, I just told him, you know, I guess one date shouldn't hurt. He was happy and like, you know, he started saying like, you know, Hey, maybe we should see Thor 2 for a double date. I'm not gonna tell you who the people are because one of them I mentioned in a previous video, the other one, I'm not sure what's going on. Then the next day came. It was Monday and he started telling all his friends that that was the date. And I'm just kind of very, I thought we were hanging out. So I thought nothing of this. You know what? Maybe he's just like super duper excited. Fast forward two weeks later, he didn't pick out a date. And first I felt like maybe he doesn't like me anymore. Like maybe like we had, maybe like that's why he chose a date like 
so far away because Thor, Thor 2 comes out in November. But eventually he finally picked out a date when I posted up on Facebook that I wanted to see The Great Gatsby. So he finally came up to me and he told me that he had money uh, to come to take me out. So we arranged a day on the Sunday, I believe, after I after Into the Woods closed. I haven't given this name yet, this guy a name yet. Oh my God! You don't, let, let's call him Ron. Ron was the guy that I'm going out. That I'm that I decided to go out. When I was trying to figure out a way to avoid going on this date with this guy, I was actually kind of flirting with this other guy. And the only reason why I didn't want to go out with this other guy was because he lived so far away and I didn't want a repeat of what happened last time with my last relationship. Think about like, you know, oh, I have homework, I'm just not feeling it today or something, so I wouldn't go on this date. But eventually I was kind of like, well, I'm seeing Great Gatsby for free. I can spare two hours of my time, whatever. The main reason why I didn't want to go out with this guy, other than the fact that I wanted to kind of see this other guy, was because this guy started to get really, really clingy. The only time that I wouldn't be with him was when I went to the bathroom or on my way to school. Like, that's it. Or when I, or when I was in class. So this guy was kind of like being really weird, even though we haven't even been on this date yet. And on top of that, he was watching me during rehearsals, and I don't like it when people do that. I don't like it when people who aren't in the show or in the crew are watching the show. It's like they're seeing a free show. Plus, I wanted to flirt with Brooke, just saying. Finally, the day of the date came. He kept insisting on taking me out for dinner afterwards. And I kept telling him over and over again that I didn't like dinner dates, so he can, shouldn't take me out for dinner. So, what did I do? I ate before going to the movie. And I kept telling this guy, please buy the tickets before I get there. I'm running like a few minutes late. Thankfully, he listened. We went to go see the movie, and for those of you guys who have seen Great Gatsby, there is a lot of suggestive scenes in that movie. Probably not a good idea to bring him to it, because I thought that it would be kind of like, you know, like, oh, literature or something, like, because Great Gatsby, and I was studying it in school, but things were kind of weird. You know, usually when you see a movie with a guy, usually, you know, he does the whole yawning move, or, you know, he puts his arm around you in some way. Ron did no such thing. Ron and I, we kind of just, like, we touched shoulders, but that was it. Which I was kind of thankful for, but at the same time, dude, like, you know, it, it's fine, we're on a date, we're friends, like, come on. Not really the greatest date I've ever been on. Um, but then again, it was his first date, so I kind of just let it slide. After the movie, which I was like, thank god, I can leave soon, he says, Let's walk around the mall. The mall was closed, so, you know, we kind of just had the mall to ourselves, so we just kind of walked around. Uh, I talked about some of my favorite shows and stuff, and he talked about them as well. You know, it was, it was cool, you know, like, we were just hanging out, like, I felt like, I felt like things were going okay, like not for a date, but like, you know, like in terms of, you know, being friends with this guy, I was thinking, you know what, after this date, I think things will be chill with this guy. Not for a relationship though, unfortunately. So then we decide to go to Tim's across the street from the mall. We hung out more. I don't really remember if I got anything from there. I don't remember. I think he got something. I don't know. So then I finally got a chance to text my mom to pick me up and she picked me up in a few minutes and so you know i was at this point being like not the greatest but not the worst date i've ever been on but still not the greatest so i was like i'm gonna go out with this guy again and then you guys he pulled this fucking move my mom was there in the parking lot if for those of you guys who know tim hortons basically everything is window in in the Tim Hortons, so you can basically see everything except for, you know, the back counter, of course. I see you at school tomorrow, bye! And he gets up, and he just says, Hold on. This is what made it the worst day I ever had. This guy gets up, and then he kisses me on the forehead, right here. I was not expecting a kiss goodnight or anything like that. Of course, I would have definitely slapped the guy if he actually kissed me over here. So I was just freaking out because no guy that I had been on a date with had gone that far until a few dates in. And this guy, this is our first date. Why in hell are you, why are you kissing me on the head or at all for that matter? And on top of that, in front of my mother. You're not gonna put your arm around me. You're not gonna hold my hand or anything like that, which was fine. 
but you're gonna kiss me on the forehead. After that, I got in the car, and my mom, she starts teasing me a bit, and she's just like, Want me to drive him home? Does he have a ride? Mom, no, drive, 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 drive. Because this was the worst date I had ever been on. Like, I'm just, like, things were okay at first. Like, it was his first date, whatever. But then he freaking kisses me on the head. Does he think that that's how first dates end? The first date? So then the next day at school, guess what happens? He tells all his friends about this friggin kiss on the head. Because his friends are also my very close friends, I didn't have the gall to tell them that this was the worst date I'd ever been on. Especially since this was our first date and he was acting as if we had been together forever or we will be. I don't know. Unfortunately you guys, Things got worse between me and him. Um, we're, we've obviously gone our separate ways. I actually could have avoided this date and this relationship with this guy in general because things did end up becoming a borderline and could have been an abusive relationship. But that's for another story, which I'm not ready to get into yet. But if you guys really, really want to hear about this story, comment down below and I'll I'll try my best to push through it. So yeah, uh, I think that's just about it. That was my worst date ever experience. Comment down below, what was your worst date that ever happened? Have you did did you have anything similar to this? Did did he plant one on the lips or did or or what happened? <laughs> I want to hear all of your stories and I will respond back. If you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe for more. I upload every single week. Sometimes I upload two videos depending on my Tis Story or Tis Adventure Time videos. Uh, so I guess I'll see you next week. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Keep comments sparkle on.